Buenas tardes, estudiantes. Good afternoon, students. We're going to continue with our um, talk about how we can apply our Lesson 1 conjugated verbs. We're going to be talking about how we apply it in the you and you all when we're in Spain um, situations. And, um, and we group the you and the you all, of course, because you is one, you're talking to one you, one person, right? And then you all is you're talking to many yous. And so we're going to group them on how we would address um, that with our conjugations. So we're going to begin again with uh, the verb hacer, and that means to do, make, or pack. And we're going to use um, uh, the, the conjugated forms of hacer um, in the different ways where you would apply it to someone doing something, someone making something, someone packing something. All right, so again, I wrote these down. Um, first one says, haces la maleta, and that means you pack the suitcase. Next one, haces la maleta, and that means you all pack the suitcase when I'm in Spain, speaking to a group of yous, a group of people. Um, next one says, haces la tarea, and that means you do the homework. Haces la tarea. It means you all do the homework, and which is what I'm expecting you all to do. Haces la tarea. The next one is haces la pizza, and that means you make the pizza. And then the, if I'm speaking to a group of you, it's haces la pizza. Haces la pizza, and that means you all make the pizza. And of course, the only times when I'd really be using unless I'm from Spain, when I'm really be using um, this form, the you all form in Spain would be when I'm in Spain speaking to Spanish people. Um, so the next verb would be using uh, to put, which is poner, and uh, we're going to begin with pones la ropa, and of course that means you put the clothes. Pones la ropa means you all put the clothes. And again, you can say, pones la ropa en la maleta, pones el dinero en el bolso, pones, well, let's use pones, pones los boletos en los bolsos, you, that you'd be able to use it in any form like that. All right, last verb is to leave. And the you form of to leave is sales. Sales en el avión, you leave on the plane. Um, and then the you all form in Spain of to leave is salis. Salis en el avión, you all leave on the plane. Salis en el autobús, you all leave on the bus. And so those are our conjugated forms for you and you all in Spain. Hopefully you could see that and kind of get the picture of how you'd be applying these conjugations in your sentences and in your speaking. So be blessed and we'll continue on in a minute.